everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you the reasons why I've decided to return my Louis Vuitton pochette Métis. So if you're curious to hear about the reasons why this bag did not work for me, then please keep on watching. So the first reason why I'll be returning this handbag unfortunately has to do with quality issues. And here the problem is the flap, so the top part of the bag is not straight, it's not lining up nicely with the bottom part. So for example, if we look at motifs like this one, the top one is not like aligned with the one that's on the bottom. There's like a maybe two millimeter difference. And it's not that it's like the end of the world, but personally I find that very, very annoying, especially when it comes to, you know, a bag that is number one brand new, that is quite pricey. I mean, it's definitely not Chanel prices, but you know, it's still a pricey luxury handbag. And I feel like really for this price that you're paying, you should not have to deal with this. For me, that's like a huge thing, it's a huge no-go. So I was quite disappointed because, you know, I felt like when I unboxed it, I was very happy by the look of it. And then as I started to like look at it a little bit more, and then especially when I compared it with the fake one, that's when I really, you know, put my scrutinizing goggles on and then really, really looked at the handbag. And that's when I started to discover that, you know, the flap is not straight and then it's also not lined up with the motifs that are on the bottom. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm unhappy with this handbag and I will be returning it, but I won't actually be getting another one and here is why. The number two reason why I'll be returning this handbag is because of the lock. It is very, very hard for me to successfully open and close it. It takes me like at least a couple of tries before actually being able to open and close, especially when the bag is empty. And I feel like, well, it's very inconvenient because, you know, this is supposed to be like a casual handbag that's convenient, that's great for use every day when running errands. And that's usually when, you know, you're in a hurry, you need to like place things like in really quickly. And if you have to play with like the closure system and if you have to wait for it to actually work or to want to work, then it's a little bit annoying. I really did not see that coming. I feel like this is one of the main reasons why I really should have tried on this bag in store before ordering it online. I will not make this mistake again and I really, really would recommend that you try it on in store and really think about it. The main reason why, you know, I ordered it online is because I didn't really have time to go in the store and then number two, I knew that this was going to be a crossbody bag that would work for me lengthwise. So I was like, okay, you know what, let's just get it and then like, that, that was it actually. <laughs> I was gonna be happy with it, but I really didn't see this like, closing system problem. Another thing is because you have to try like at least a couple of times every time that you want to open and close, I personally see scratches occurring very, very quickly. Um, so right now like the sticker, the protective sticker is still on it and I feel like you can already see scratches in the protective sticker and you know, I haven't taken this bag outside. I've just been like, you know, using it for videos and kind of like trying it on to see, to ask my mom what she thinks, like this type of stuff. So frankly, like I really couldn't imagine keeping this bag and you know, down the line after like a year or two, I couldn't imagine what the lock must look like because if even after like two days in my home, there's already scratches, then after like a year or two of constant use, like, oh Jesus, no way. So yeah, I've been very disappointed with that. I really feel like they should have thought of like a better closing system. And then that way, you know, it wouldn't yield as many scratches. The next reason why I'll be returning this particular handbag and also not getting another one is because of the gold hardware. So obviously this bag is gold hardware, duh. This is a duh moment. And this is something that I very well knew beforehand. It's not a surprise. But the problem is that it is not in line with my everyday jewelry. The kind of like set of jewelry that I have is in white gold. And I really feel like it's a problem. Like this is already something that I mentioned in my unboxing of this particular bag. By the way, if you are interested in seeing me unbox this bag, 
and also about hearing my first impressions, then I will go ahead and leave the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. But it's not something that I could get over. I frankly thought that I could, um, especially because, you know, like I've mentioned before, I was searching for a really long time for a bag that would be a great crossbody option for me, which is hard to find because I am so tall. So I felt like I could get over that and that it wasn't going to be a huge problem. But every time that I try on the bag and that I'm like in front of my mirror, I look at the gold hardware and then I look at my jewelry set and I'm like, no, this is like a problem. And now it's like the only thing that I see about this bag. So it's not something that I can get past. I thought that I could, um, but I must have not thought very well. <laughs> Clearly I didn't. Um, because it feels like it's a huge problem. I'm the type of person that doesn't really mix up hardwares, so I tend to stick to you know white gold for my everyday jewelry and then yellow gold for occasions, and then kind of accordingly I choose handbags. Um, so the handbags that I do choose for everyday are handbags that have like silver hardware or that like don't have hardware at all. Um, and then the bags that I do have for occasions or gold hardware, this is clearly not an occasion bag. This is clearly an everyday bag. And so I can't use it for occasions because that would be a little silly, but I also can't like, you know, change up my jewelry set to just wear this bag. So for that reason, it's just not gonna work for me. I really clearly did not think this through very well. And the fourth reason why I'll be returning this handbag is because in my mind it looks too much like a school bag. This is actually something that my mom told me the first time that she saw me with this handbag. She was like, oh my god, it looks like a school bag. And unfortunately, I cannot get this out of my head anymore. Every time I see the bag, I'm like, okay, yeah, she's right. Especially if you only use the top handle, like if you don't have the strap, then it really looks very, you know, scholarly, almost like a satchel, this type of thing. That would be great for, you know, either you are in school or you're a lawyer or you have to carry documents or something, but neither is my case actually. And now I'm like, okay, it looks very like scholarly or professional, boring type. So I'm like, okay, no, I can't like, I can't do this. It's just not gonna work for me. And I feel like now that I look at myself wearing the bag, it looks like, you know, a school bag of a little girl. And then it's quite funny because I'm very tall. So I'm like 5'11 or 180 centimeters. So it looks a little ridiculous. And every time I see myself with this bag, I'm like, okay, you look like a schoolgirl. This is ridiculous. This is not for you. Uh, so yeah, for that reason, I just can't get past this. And I really don't think that, you know, ordering a new one would change anything. I've also thought about like, okay, maybe what if I order like either a new one or one in like empreinte or like another, you know, type or like simply monogram or something, but it's just like these things will never change. Uh, for example, like clearly the shape of the bag will never change. And for me, that's like a huge thing. It really looks like a school bag. And it's not something that I can get out of my head every time I see the bag. I'm like, okay, no, not for you. This is not working out. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was informational for you in case you were looking at acquiring a Louis Vuitton Pochette Métis. I hope this kind of gave you like feedback on what to expect, on what not to do. Um, that's definitely what I did. So basically, the main takeaway is don't order online, go try it out in the store, think about your jewelry, and then try to not think about the fact that it is a school bag or that it looks like a school bag, or at least be okay with it, um, which I definitely wasn't. And then definitely check for quality issues. I think this is something that's kind of recurring um, with these handbags and with the brand in general. So definitely scrutinize it under every possible angle before buying it. And that's also why I would not order online. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.